So welcome everyone to the Advanced Workflow series in CodeBeamer. Today we want to see how three of the great workflow functionalities can work together. So we want to see how the guard, the subtask, and the e-signature e feature work together. So at first, let's have a quick walk through, through the workflow. So we're going to have a requirement, which is in the status new. And then we will have to select the reviewers for this requirement, the developer and the tester. And now there is a guard in place that checks for all the reviewers if they are selected, meaning it only works when the developer and the tester is being selected. Then automatically subtasks for the approval of the developer and the tester are automatically created. And the reviewers, meaning the developer or the tester, either reject or approve those subtasks. And they do so while providing their individual e-signature and a comment is optional for the approval or the rejection. And this will lead to two options. The first option will be that all the reviewers accepted the subtask, meaning the original requirements moves from, from approved to active. Or at least one reviewer rejected this, meaning the requirement moves back from approved to new. So let's check it out how it looks in the CodeBeamer. So here we are in a demo project called Approval Workflow. And here we are in the Requirements Workflow. And as you can see, the requirement starts off in the status New. Then there is a guard in place called All Owners Selected. I want to show you how the, the guard looks. Here we can select the guard. When I click on Edit, I'll show you how to to customize this. And here you can see after the guard, this guard will check if it's a developer or a tester. Then once the guard has approved that all the reviewers are selected, I'm here in the status ready for review. And once I make my state transition, um, there will be subtask for approval created for all the process owners. And I will show you how it looks. Here, we assign this state transition with an individual action called Create Approval Subtask for All Process Owners. And once they're approved, it will automatically move to active or it will automatically go back to new. So let's sec select a rem random requirement. I'll probably just set up a new requirement. I will call this requirement a. Add a little description, click on save. So at first here you can see it's in the status new. And then I want to bring this requirement to the review and I want to click on save. As you can see right now there's a guard in place because the guard condition all owners yields false, meaning I have to select the developer and the tester. And the developer here is Anthony and here the tester is Erica. Click on save. Now you can see we had a state transition which leads the requirement A to ready for review. So now let's click on verify and now we will create subtasks for the process owners. Click on Verify, click on Save. As you can see down here, we just created automatically two subtasks for Erica and for Anthony. So what we want to do right now, so let's log out from the CodeBeamer. As you can see, I'm logged in here as Ackerman, and currently I want to log in to Erica's account and to Anthony's account to show you how to, this approval mechanism works. So let's lock in as Anthony, take its password, okay, so let's go under my items. As you can see, I'm locked in as Anthony, and Anthony has to approve requirement A. Now you can see it's its subtask, and you actually 
thinks this requirement is okay, so therefore he will accept it. And here, there's a field which requires his individual e-signature. So maybe I want to click on save right now. As you can see, it's not working. And I will type in a wrong e-signature. To see it's also not working. Now I'll type in the correct e-signature. As you can see, I just accepted this. Now I will log out and log in as Erica. Now we'll go once again under my items. As you can see, Erica also has a new item that she has to approve. Also, Erica will accept this item. She will type in her e-signature. And as you can see, she also accepted. Now, I will log out and log in with my account, the process owner. And let's see what happened to the requirement A. Let's go here back to my trackers, check out the requirement, and as you can see, now it's just been active. And this is a great way how um, one of the great functionalities, the guard, the subtask, and the e-signature can all work together. Thanks for watching.